Hello everybody, Jamie here from FM Scout. Welcome to a new, brand new episode today on the FM Scout channel. Today we are going to be looking at the top 25 FM18 clubs to find regens on a budget. So you know, these aren't clubs like Man United, Dortmund, Barcelona, Real Madrid. These are going to be clubs that are quite less known, but are known to produce a lot of good regens. And you'll probably see these throughout the games. You'll see some guy from Colombia who comes in, which usually you wouldn't really go to Colombia to look for regens. Some people would. You need to know the clubs to go to, the clubs to find, the players, and you need to also know the dates that the region dates come through. So these will be on the screen as I'm going through these clubs as well. But the first one is Al Ahali in Egypt. You know, a very big club. A lot of you will know them. Um, they, they're not really the biggest club in the world, as you can see. The reputation is is quite low, but for, for that nation, they are very very big, and they've got good youth facilities. Um, just looking at the facilities right now, they've got an established youth recruitment youth facilities and great training facilities so these this team is always going to bring through players throughout the game so once you you can see the dates below on the screen right now they're just below me once you get to that date best way to do it is go to the region and um, if people don't know i want to quickly show you now before we start so if you go to world and then go to transfers this little drop down menu here and then go to youth intake so you know you can see right here there's actually a player come through Asan on the came through on the 2nd of October obviously the dates are below so you know the idea is you can show the filters go to Egypt on the date that's below find Egypt there we go so as you can see all the regions came through on the 2nd of October on my save but if you was wanting to scout the, the players obviously there's a few other clubs like Zamalek and obviously Al Ali that I'm talking about now so this will give you a list you can then scout them on the day that the region date comes through and you've got a great chance to steal them so that is the first one this is in no order it is just random teams there's no this isn't the best team i will go through a few more now and the next team is pachuca i believe that's how you say it. it's a mexican team they have got very very good youth facilities and very very good training facilities it's, it's a team in mexico you know the likes of hervin lozano came from there and eric gutierrez and also rodolfo pizarro came from there as well so these have all learned the trade at this club it was bought up through the youth system but well, this is a very very good team to find regions um in mexico you know you will always see a lot of regions come from mexico but this is a club again to check when the regions come through it's a team that you can potentially steal them they've got a quite high value on this on my save right now but no this is definitely a club looking at the facilities a little bit more in depth you have got a superb youth facilities you've got excellent training facilities and you've got a well-established youth so again these, this team is going to produce a few regions for you. So again, this video is just about finding the clubs that you would not normally find the find the regions from, and obviously something different for you to check out. And we'll move on to the next one. Uh, the next one is Ajax Cape Town. So a team in South Africa. So you will find a lot of South African teams um, produce a lot of regions. So this this one is a very good team as well. The youth facilities are four and a half star. The training facilities are four and a half star as well. A pretty good reputation but again the reputation is again this is finding regions on a budget so with the reputation being so low if your reputation is higher the chances are the youth players are going to join you instead a few players that came from uh, that developed through the youth academy at ix cape town is stephen pinar previously at everton and thulani surio so these are the players that was originally bought through the academy at ix cape town and we'll move on to the next one and the next one the fourth one is fk partisan a team in Serbia playing in the Serbian league. You know, this team, I've, I've bought the players like uh, Milenkovic, who I believe is still there, right? I think Milenkovic, is it Savio Milenkovic? He's obviously very, very highly rated. I'm not quite sure if he's still there, actually. I can't remember. Milenkovic, though, you know, they are, they are known for a very good youth academy in Serbia. So they have got a four-star facility. They have got a four-star training facility as well. So this is a team that you definitely want on the region day to, to check out. Let's have a quick look at the facilities. So the facilities they've got um superb training facilities excellent youth facilities and extensive youth recruitment so the chances are when you get the regen day they are going to bring a lot of good players through so you can see right now this is the under 19s we hit value there's a guy here 105k you can look by by value or you can just scout them i would suggest scout them the day that they came they come through on the regions on the regen intake day but you know that is um fk partisan and we'll move on to the next one uh, moving on to number five is Colo Colo, a team in Chile. Many of you will know these. You've probably heard of them, I imagine. Uh, they have got four-star youth facilities, four-star training facilities as well. Slightly higher reputation than the previous two I've just shown you. 
but you know they're going to bring a, a, few, a few good players through again another team to always check out when the regen dates come through um they they've had a player like uh vidal started his career at colo colo he came through the youth system there um so make sure you definitely check these out as well moving on to, and we're staying in chile today where we're going to universidad de chile another team very much similar to colo colo if not very identical though players like johnny herrera came from there that he started his youth he started his youth career there they've got four star facilities four four and a half star training facilities so they've got a little bit of better training facilities looking at their facilities more in depth though they've got an established youth recruitment excellent youth facilities and excellent training facilities so make sure you definitely check these out you will notice a lot of players come through in chile and you will always see a guy who's like vied at 50 million five years down the line who's from chile so you know you, the idea is to steal these players before they go somewhere else chances are if you are a low rep team you have to be extremely lucky because if they are if they have got a really high potential you know the likes like man city may be already looking at them but you might get lucky and that one look you know if you can find if you find a guy the amount of profit that's going to make you by selling him will be incredible and moving on to the next one at number seven is envigado football club a team in colombia again colombia a very big nation bring bring youth prospects through you've got the likes of james rodriguez started his career here he came through the youth system andres tello dorlan pabon came through as well you know a, a lot of big players come from this from the team and there's a reason for that so you know they've got youth facilities of four got training facilities of three they always bring through a lot of good players i'm just wondering like why gary Saunders is that gary saunders george saunders is the captain that's just very strange i'm sorry but that just really shocked me um but yeah no this guy this team sorry is is a very good team and they will produce players so again when the regen date comes through make sure you check these out just quickly looking at the facilities now they've also got a well-established youth as well so make sure you check these out going back to mexico right now and we've got club deportivo guadalajara we've got this team you know players like orbelin pineda started his career here came through the youth system another team that is going to produce a lot of good players from mexico three and a half star youth facilities four star training facilities you know very good let's have a look at the um youth recruitment so they've got extensive youth recruitment as well make sure you check these out when the um when the time comes moving on to the next team now and we've got ffa center of excellence which is an australian youth academy it's they don't play in any type of league they are literally just a center of excellence and a football academy for australia so they have got four star youth facilities and four star training facilities despite not really being a club it's just literally a team a, a academy that that produces players for australia which i believe has been dissolved now in real life i'm not entirely sure that this may not be on the save next season but, you know looking at the facilities they have got extensive youth recruitment superb training facilities and excellent youth facilities so again when australia regen date comes in make sure you check these players out that come in scout them and see if you can get them in and at number 10 is ASEC, a team in Ivory Coast. Many of you will know who ASEC are. A lot of you already know and already come here to check for Ivory Coast regions. You know, they've got really good few facilities. They've got really good training facilities. ASEC kind of goes back about about five years on FM, if I remember rightly. Five years ago, I was looking for, for regions at ASEC. Maybe it's quieting down a little bit now. There's not as many good players as you think, but there's always someone who, you know, you can make profit on and that's what it's all about. If not bringing someone into the first team asec again like i say are in ivory coast so you know there's, there's the potential there i think they are the biggest club in ivory coast so they're always going to bring in youth players They've got extensive youth recruitment great youth facilities and great good training facilities so the youth recruitment is very good their next one is cf dam now this is a little bit of a strange one this wouldn't usually be on the list but again these are an academy based in barcelona which barcelona loan a lot of their players to dam develop them it's again it's like ffa it's, a, it's an academy the youth facilities and the training facilities aren't that good but if you're let's let's say a league two team a league one team we started bringing a lot of players in on our blive save from league two and they actually managed to play in the championship anyone who's seen the blive save knows how good some of these players turned out they're never going to be top premier league players but they are going to be players you can rely on in the lower leagues and players you can easily make profit on to get you through the low leagues. so this team Again, it was founded in 1954 looking at the facilities they've got average youth recruitment so it's not as good as the other teams but this is more of a team in the lower lower leagues if you are wanting to find players they won't join clubs in the conference but they will join clubs in league two you know there's a 
great chance to steal, steal some of the players. I mean, looking at this guy, Blanco, um, you know, as a striker, 14 finishing, this guy may even join the conference, and to get a player like this in the conference with that pace and that finishing is very, very good, you know. So definitely check out CF Dam when they get when they get um, the regens come through. The next one is Danubio Football Club from Uruguay, you know. Obviously, you've got Suarez from Uruguay. You've got a lot of good players from Uruguay, so there's always going to be a few clubs that, that develop a few youngsters. You know, this club has got good good youth facilities. The training facilities aren't so good, but this, this club is always going to bring for you players, and you've got players like Camilo Maeda. Orland started his career here as well, came through the youth system here. So, you know, this is a club that, that will definitely develop some good players on FM. You've got an extensive youth recruitment and great youth facilities, so, you know, they, they're going to develop the players for you. Moving on to Sweden now, and we've got Malmo, a club in Sweden. So a team with four and three and a half star youth facilities, four star training facilities, a reputation of three. So this club is is quite a biggish club in in the Swedish division, if not the biggest actually. And you know they, they're going to bring a lot of youth players through. Maybe as a I mean a top four team, you're always looking for that Scandinavian player. I, I'm I'm always the same. You know these will develop a lot of players for you. On, on FM and the Swedish most of the Swedish regions will come from this club you know definitely check them out when the region date comes the next one to look at is a Serbian team called Savena Zveda which is previously Red Star I believe this club I've got great youth facilities you'll get a lot of Serbians come through the from the youth system through these you know they've got three and a half star youth facilities four three and a half star training facilities as well looking at the facilities they've got extensive youth recruitment as well so a lot of Serbians will come from this club and it's a great club to try and steal a few good players before they go to the main stage. The next one to look at is Vitoria. So a team in Portugal, they've got three and a half star. Again, I could show you Porto, I could show you Benfica, but again, this is regions on a budget. So this is this team has got three and a half star facilities, four star training facilities, looking a very, very good team. You know, they bring through a lot of re a lot of regions. Um, Eduardo from Chelsea started his career here as well. So Vitoria. Know, a, a very good team to to look at and again to make sure these are on your list when you um when you're looking for regions the next club is to look for is pumas a team in mexico so this team you know they're, they're very 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 good in terms of bringing and developing youth players previously uh, eduardo herrera and hector moreno came from here started the youth career here it's a very good team to find regions through so looking at the players and the facilities they will bring a lot of good players through, so it's always a good way to check these out. They're not doing too well in the group by the looks of it, but ignore that. It's all about the youth facilities and the training facilities. Looking at the facilities right now, they've got a well-established youth recruitment, so there's always a chance, you know, you don't want to miss that one player who comes through, so every season you should be adding notes, you should be checking the regen dates. We do it on stream, and we find a lot of good players who's willing to drop to us. And moving on to the next team. The next team to look at is Vitesse in Holland. So, you know, these have got four star youth facilities and four and a half star training facilities. So, these will bring a lot of Dutch players through the system. So, again, I could show you Ajax and, and teams like that, but it's just literally about finding teams on a budget that we can steal the regions from. So, four, four star youth facilities, four and a half star training facilities, which is very, very good. Looking at the facilities as well, they have got above average youth recruitment. So, the youth recruitment could do with improving, but you know, they will bring some very, very good players through, and it's always a good team to check. Moving on to the next team. Okay, so the next one we're going to look at is Paraguay, a team that we've not been to yet on this episode. So Paraguay is a very, very, it's, it's a smallish nation compared to the other ones we've seen, but you will always find a really good Paraguayan that, that is on FM that has valued a lot. And again, it's all about finding that one player. So the one team to look at is Libertad in Paraguay. They've got a three and a half star youth facilities, four star training facilities. You know, they've got established youth recruitment as well, which is good. So no, that is one team to definitely look for when the youth, ta youth intake dates come. The next one to look at is Maccabi Tel Aviv, a team with the likes of Dan Bohr, Tel Ben, Tel ben Haim from. They started their youth facilities there. This team has got a four-star youth facilities, three and a half-star training facilities. A team that play in Israel, so definitely check these out. They've got a well-established youth recruitment. They've got excellent youth facilities, great training facilities as well. You know, again, like I say, make sure you definitely check these out and add these to your list as well. Moving over to Norway now, we've got Stabek. I'm sorry, I don't think that's how you say it, but we've got this club, a team in Norway, which, you know, I've got four-star youth facilities. Estimated about 37 value on my save right now. We've got a three-star training facilities as well. 
that this is a club that will develop a lot of good regens. You've got players like Morton Thorsby, Mats Moladelli has come from there as well. So, you know, definitely, definitely check these out. We've got a well established youth recruit, excellent facilities, and a good training facility as well. So, a club in Norway, we love our Scandinavian players, we definitely do. Make sure you check these out on the regen day. We are moving over to Bosnia now. So, we've got a team called FK Sarajevo, a team with a four star youth facility. Three and a half star training facility, a team that you can definitely steal regions from, I imagine, quite easily if they are very, very good in terms of the scout reports. You know, they're quite a small team, they've only got a thousand season ticket holders, yet their facilities go way above that, as you can see. You know, they've got players like Marko Mihelovic, who's came from there. Facilities in terms of that, they've got established youth recruitments, they've got excellent youth facilities. And we are going back to Israel right now, we are going to Maccabi Haifa, a team with four star youth facilities three and a half star training facilities a team that will bring some very very good Israeli players again if you're a low league Premier League team or you're a championship team, I imagine you can try and get some of the youth players from here always worth trying to find them and making profit you know like I say the best thing to do is check your notes add them add them to your notes so I will show you a little tip at the end of this video on, on the note system which many people don't use and I will go from there and we are coming to Romania now where we're going looking at Vitarol in Romania so this team do produce a lot of good Romanian kids, you know, three, three and a half star youth facilities um, tr or three and a half star youth fac uh, training facilities as well. So they've got a very good base of, of the facilities right there. You know, they do, I have seen a lot of good Romanian players come from here. They've got extensive youth recruitment as well. So again, make sure you check these out. At number 24, we go back to Paraguay, which we're going to Cerro Porteno, a team playing the Paraguayan division you know they've got four star youth facilities they've got great training facilities as well uh, let's have a look at the facilities in terms of the youth recruitment so they've got a well-established youth recruitment as well they will bring through a lot of players Julios dos Julio dos Santos came from there he started his career at Cerro Porteno now definitely a base there to bring bring a lot of players through let's have a quick look at the under 20s right now as anyone there so you've got a guy here Christian Torres 19 years old vowed at through I mean that guy looks extremely good at 19 years old. Like I said, I'm not scouted him, but look at them stats for 19. You know, these are the type of players that will drop down massively to get out of this. If your rep is a little bit higher, these players will definitely drop down to you. So that is a team to check out in Paraguay. And the final one we come to Tunisia, a team that not many people will probably know, to be fair. A lot of you will. Some of you will be new to this. You will always find Tunisia do quite well on FM. Um, for some strange reason, you know, they always bring a few, bring around a lot of regions, which I wouldn't really expect, if I'm honest. And, you know, they've got a three, this team have got a three and a half star youth facility. They've got a um, four star training facilities. They are the biggest club in Tunisia. We'll get rid of the players quite easily. You know, it's a great chance to bring, to bring some really good Tunisian players through. And make sure you always scout them. And that is it. So that is it. That is the top 25 FM18 um, clubs to steal regions from you know definitely check them out the one tip i will give you is go to your home screen go to your notebook and as you got as you can see right here i was doing a lot of intake so you can add notes to to bring on that day and tell you when the intake day is so you don't miss it chances are you need to scout them very very quick that's that's the end all you don't scout them quick enough and you don't get a, a, a bidding quick enough they will probably accept a contract or go elsewhere. So all you need to do is press create note. So if I was going to do African intake. And then obviously scout. So if, for example, I, I can't remember the dates, but if it was on the 17th of October, I can just do a reminder once. Or you can, no point in doing it every year because a lot of a lot of the regen dates change as you've seen on the screen. So I, I always do it once and then just redo it before I start streaming of anything that I might see why I'm streaming. So, you know, that is is a great way. Always use the notebook if you can. It will give you an inbox just like right here, and it will tell you to scale them. And on that day, you will then just go to your world, go to world just here. You'll go to transfers. You'll drop this down to youth intake, and obviously you'll drop it down to the, you'll select the nation that you're using or looking for. So if it's obviously in England, nothing happens in October, or the African nation. So, you know, thank you very much for watching. I know it's been a long video. But I hope you've enjoyed it and you've found some new clubs that you can scout. Let me know in the comments if you do find any players or you found any players from the clubs that I've mentioned. It would be great, so I know people are looking for them. But no, apart from that, hear me out.